Tuesday afternoon, Lebanon, a day like any other. But beneath the surface, a storm brewed. In a horrifying moment, the ordinary shattered. A series of explosions ripped through the country. The culprit? Ordinary pagers transformed into deadly weapons. The blasts were swift, merciless. Victims, caught unaware, fell. The lucky ones escaped with their lives. The unlucky ones? They became casualties in a shadowy war. Panic choked the streets. Hospitals overflowed. The death toll climbed, a grim testament to the attacker's ruthlessness. This was no random act of violence. It was a meticulously planned operation, executed with chilling precision. Someone had turned everyday technology into instruments of death. But who? And why? As the dust settled, one question echoed through the minds of investigators, politicians, and ordinary citizens alike. Who could be behind this audacious attack? The pager, a relic of a bygone era, or so we thought. In the wrong hands, this outdated technology became a weapon of terrifying power. But how? The answer lay in the pager's simplicity. A basic receiver, a coded message, a deadly payload. It was a recipe for disaster. The attackers exploited this simplicity, transforming the mundane into the deadly. Imagine this, a seemingly harmless pager delivered into the hands of unsuspecting individuals. They carried within them the seeds of their own destruction. Unknowingly, they became walking targets in a deadly game. The attacker's ingenuity was chilling. Their ability to manipulate technology, to turn the ordinary into the extraordinary, was a stark reminder of the world we live in, a world where danger lurks in the shadows, waiting to strike. Suspicions immediately fell on the usual suspects in the murky world of international espionage. Rumors swirled, fingers pointed. Was this the work of a rogue state, a terrorist organization, or something even more sinister? Intelligence agencies around the world scrambled to make sense of the chaos. Analysts pored over satellite images, intercepted communications, and fragments of evidence. The clock was ticking. They needed to find the perpetrators before they could strike again. The world held its breath. The attack was a stark reminder of the invisible battles raging around us. Battles fought in the shadows with whispers and code, with technology twisted for nefarious purposes. In a world of secrets and lies, the truth was elusive. But one thing was certain, the pager explosions were a game changer. They signaled a new era of warfare, one where the line between technology and terror was blurred beyond recognition. The attack sent shockwaves through Lebanon, a nation already grappling with political turmoil and economic uncertainty. Hezbollah, a powerful political and military force, found itself at the center of the storm. Their response was swift and decisive. They wasted no time in blaming their old enemy Israel for the attacks. Accusations flew. Tensions escalated. The region braced itself for another round of conflict. Hezbollah's leader, a figure both revered and feared, addressed the nation. His words were defiant, a call to arms. He vowed revenge. He promised justice. The crowd roared their approval. In the streets, Hezbollah supporters took to the streets, their anger palpable. They waved flags, they chanted slogans, they demanded retribution. The situation was a powder keg, primed to explode. Section 5. Ghosts in the Machine The investigation took a technological turn. Experts delved into the mangled remains of the pagers, searching for clues. They were like digital archaeologists, piecing together fragments of code, tracing the attacker's steps through the labyrinthine world of cyberspace. The attackers, they discovered, were ghosts in the machine. They had exploited vulnerabilities in the pager's software, turning them into remote-controlled bombs. Their skill was undeniable. Their motives, however, remained shrouded in mystery. Every line of code, every digital footprint brought investigators closer to the truth. But the attackers were always one step ahead, erasing their tracks, disappearing into the digital ether. The investigation was a race against time, a high-stakes game of cat and mouse. The world watched, captivated, as investigators ventured deeper into the heart of the digital darkness, determined to unmask the masterminds behind the pager plot. Section 6. The Pager Paradox, A Relic's Deadly Return The use of pagers in the attack was both ingenious and ironic. A relic of the past, a symbol of simpler times had been resurrected as a weapon of the future. But why use such outdated technology? 
The answer, experts believed, lay in the pager's simplicity. It was a low-tech solution to a high-tech problem. In a world saturated with smartphones and encrypted messaging apps, the humble pager offered a level of anonymity and security that was hard to beat. The attackers had exploited this paradox, turning the pager's weaknesses into strengths. It was a stark reminder that even in the digital age, the old ways can still be deadly. The pager attack was a wake-up call, a reminder that we live in a world where the past can easily catch up with the present. It was a testament to the ingenuity and adaptability of those who seek to do us harm. Section 7. The Israel Connection, Shadowy Links, and Unanswered Questions As the investigation deepened, all eyes turned to Israel. The Jewish state had a long and complex history with Hezbollah. The two were bitter enemies, locked in a perpetual shadow war. Intelligence officials pointed to Israel's sophisticated cyber capabilities. They had the means, the motive, and the opportunity to carry out such an attack. But was there any concrete evidence? Rumors swirled of secret Israeli units operating inside Lebanon. There were whispers of intercepted communications, of shadowy figures moving in the night. But nothing was confirmed. The Israeli government denied any involvement in the attacks. They dismissed the accusations as baseless propaganda, but the denials rang hollow in the ears of many. The world waited, holding its breath, for the truth to emerge. Section 8. The Fog of War, Unraveling the Truth The pager explosions plunged the region into a state of uncertainty and fear. The truth, as always, was elusive, obscured by a fog of war and misinformation. Who was telling the truth? Who was holding back? The international community called for calm and restraint, but their pleas fell on deaf ears. The situation was a powder keg, and the fuse had already been lit. In the streets of Beirut, life went on, but under a pall of suspicion and paranoia. Neighbors eyed each other with distrust. Friends whispered secrets. The city, once vibrant and alive, felt heavy with unspoken fear. The pager explosions were a stark reminder of the fragility of peace. They were a wake-up call, a reminder that even in the 21st century, the world is a dangerous place, full of hidden threats and shadowy actors. Section 9, A Global Stage, The Wider Implications The pager explosions were not just a regional crisis, they were a global wake-up call, a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of our world. The attack sent ripples of fear and uncertainty across the globe. Governments and intelligence agencies around the world took notice. They began to reevaluate their own security protocols, their vulnerabilities in a world where technology could be turned against them in an instant. The attack highlighted the growing threat of cyber warfare. It demonstrated how even the most low-tech devices could be weaponized in the wrong hands. It was a sobering thought. The world watched, captivated and horrified, as the events in Lebanon unfolded. The pager explosions were a stark reminder that in the 21st century, no one is safe. The enemy is invisible, adaptable, and always one step ahead. Section 10. The Future of Intelligence, A New Era of Warfare The pager explosions marked a turning point in the world of espionage and intelligence gathering. They ushered in a new era of warfare, one where the lines between the physical and digital worlds were blurred beyond recognition. Intelligence agencies around the world scrambled to adapt to this new reality. They invested heavily in cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and other cutting-edge technologies. They knew that the next battle would be fought not on the battlefield, but in the digital realm. The pager explosion served as a stark reminder that the enemy is constantly evolving, always searching for new and innovative ways to strike. Intelligence agencies needed to stay one step ahead, to anticipate the next move, to think the unthinkable. The future of intelligence was uncertain, fraught with danger and uncertainty. But one thing was clear, the old ways were no longer enough. The world had changed, the game had changed, and the players needed to adapt or be left behind. Section 11, Conclusion, A World on High Alert. The pager explosions in Lebanon were a tragedy, a stark reminder of the human cost of conflict and the ever-present threat of terrorism. But they were also a wake-up call, a catalyst for change. The world emerged from the crisis more vigilant, more aware of the dangers lurking in the shadows. Intelligence agencies redoubled their efforts, determined to prevent another such tragedy. The game of cat and mouse between those who seek to do us harm and those who protect us continued. But the rules had changed. 
The stakes had been raised, and the world was watching, holding its breath, waiting to see what the future holds. The pager explosions were a stark reminder that in our interconnected world, no one is immune to the threat of violence and